What is up my fellow mobile gamers? In today's video, we have some exciting news. LD player just got a huge upgrade. Subscribe to the channel, thumbs up. This video is greatly appreciated. This is, this is big. This is uh, something I've been looking forward to. I'm super duper excited to talk about this, share this with you. I will have a link down below in the description box and in the comment section to go ahead and download the new LD Player 9 emulator is in beta. The biggest takeaway from this is the fact that they merged the 64-bit version and the 32-bit version together in just one emulator. Before, you would have to come on here and you'd have to download the 64-bit version and the 32-bit version. You may have to run the game on say the 64-bit version as opposed to the 32-bit version. Certain mobile games would only run on certain versions, but that, that completely eliminates all of this. You have no problem at all. You can go ahead and play any games completely flawlessly. I've already tested out several games and I've already noticed a significant improvement over the old LD player. The load times have been phenomenal. I've noticed um, gameplay is definitely a lot smoother. Uh, we take a look at the version introduction really quick. You'll see that it says games that only work on the 64-bit version of LD Player currently would be Diablo Immortal and Mer 4. But again, you don't even have to worry about that with LD Player 9. There's no version drawback. All right, well, uh, let's see this bad boy in action. So this is the LD Player 9 home screen. Very similar to the LD Player 4 home screen that we had before. Let's uh, let's actually launch tails nor real quick so you could just see how fast everything loads up the loading screen everything is a lot smoother I've noticed the gameplay is even a lot better but one of the best benefits for using LD player 9 emulator is the fact that you can go ahead you can use a controller and customize the layout however you want we have our PlayStation 5 controller right here I'm going to show you really quick how to do it it's very simple we're going to go to our settings in the top right menu it is the second icon down it kind of looks like a keyboard we're then going to click the controller icon if you want to set up hotkeys for your keyboard you would do the keyboard icon if you want to set up hotkeys for your controller you're going to do the controller icon so then it's going to bring us up this menu and you'll see that I already have a few set up. I'm just gonna go ahead, I'm gonna click these off just so I can show you in real time how I set this up. So what we're gonna do is we have our main attack right here and then we have like our special abilities. We're gonna take this little A icon and we're just gonna drag and drop it wherever we want. So we want our basic attack right here and then we're just gonna press whatever key on our gamepad we want our basic attack to be. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna make it circle. It's gonna show up as B because it goes off of like, uh, I think like an Xbox controller layout. But again, it doesn't matter. You can use a PlayStation controller, Xbox controller. Um, I have not tried a Switch controller, possibly a Switch controller, but pretty much almost any controller works with this. Uh, we're then gonna put another key for one of our skills right here. We're gonna say, uh, we're gonna make that X, which is gonna show up as A. We're gonna go to the third icon where it says control the move direction in game with our left joystick so we're just going to drag this over to about right there where it would show up on the screen and then if you want you have rotate the view in 3d games so if you do have a mmorpg game that has 3d camera in it so you can kind of move the camera you can go ahead and you can just drag and drop this onto the screen and then with the right joystick you can move the camera angle you also have stuff like write a macro record a macro but we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to bang that out real quick and then we'll see that, there we go. Look how easy this is. It is so much easier to play Tales Noir like this. I mean, I'm just going around. I mean, you could play this for hours at this point. It completely eliminates auto combat. So if you're someone who doesn't like auto combat and you wanna play the game yourself, LD Player 9, absolutely insane. Look at this, we're just gonna go ahead and look. All of our skills that we push, we push this button and bam. Is our settings, if we go ahead and we take a look at our settings, we have the ability to change the performance, uh, CPU and RAM usage. If you have a higher end computer, you can go ahead and you can bump this up 
above the recommended we went ahead and we bumped it up to six cores and then for the ram usage we have 6144 megs and we went ahead we bumped it up to the maximum which is 8192 we'll just increase your performance such as uh lag free so if you are having a little bit of lag which honestly i never even experienced lag when i had it on the recommended settings it will be using more resources from your pc though so just understand that but overall i mean ld player 9 is absolutely amazing so definitely make sure you go ahead and try out the new ld player 9 beta that's going on right now absolutely phenomenal for mmorpg mobile games but also amazing for base building war games action games shooting games if you're playing uh cod mobile if you're playing PUBG mobile any type of game like that will really benefit from ld player 9 especially with the fact that you can use a controller i mean we can go ahead and we could play apex legends mobile on ld player 9 using a controller and we will absolutely destroy people that is it i hope you guys and girls enjoyed the video stay happy stay safe my friends i'll see y'all later peace